Have you ever wondered how ancient stories from thousands of years ago could still have an impact on our lives today? What if I told you that within these tales lies wisdom that could change the way you view the world and your place in it? In this unique series, we delve into some of the most compelling narratives from biblical times. Stories of divine protection, justice, and the undeniable consequences of opposing those chosen by a higher power. But this isn't just about history, it's about uncovering timeless truths that resonate with the challenges we face in our modern world. Imagine finding solace in knowing that the struggles you face aren't just your own, but part of a larger tapestry that has been unfolding for generations, or discovering that the principles of divine justice and protection are not just abstract concepts, but real forces that can guide and shape your life's path. So, I invite you to join me on this journey. Whether you're well-versed in biblical stories or hearing them for the first time, there's something here for everyone. Together, we'll explore these ancient texts, uncover their meanings, and perhaps find a piece of ourselves within them. And who am I to guide you through this exploration? My name is, I am, a rabbi with years of study in the rich tapestry of our religious texts. I've dedicated my life to understanding these stories and sharing their wisdom with others. So, come along. Let's uncover the mysteries and lessons woven into the fabric of our history. In the vast tapestry of human history, there are moments that stand out as beacons of divine intervention, where the boundary between the heavens and the earth seems to blur. One such moment is the miraculous parting of the Red Sea, a story of fear, faith, and ultimate deliverance. Imagine standing at the edge of an immense sea, with your family and all you hold dear, feeling the tremor of fear as an army, formidable and relentless, approaches. This was the reality for the Israelites, newly freed from centuries of slavery, yet not truly free, trapped between the wrath of Pharaoh and the insurmountable Red Sea. As the Egyptian chariots drew nearer, the air must have been thick with despair. The Israelites, questioning their escape, their faith, and even their leader, Moses, faced a seemingly impossible dilemma. The promise of freedom appeared to be a fleeting dream, about to be crushed under the might of Pharaoh's army. But in the depths of despair, there's a flicker of something powerful. Faith. Moses, standing firm in the face of fear, raises his staff, not as a weapon against the physical might of an army, but as a symbol of unyielding faith in the divine. And then, the unthinkable happens. The sea parts, defying all laws of nature, creating a path of salvation on the seabed. This wasn't just a physical path to freedom, but a monumental testament to the power of faith and divine protection over those chosen by God. Have you ever faced a Red Sea moment in your life? A time when obstacles seemed insurmountable, yet through faith a path appeared where none seemed possible. How did your sea part? And what did that journey teach you about faith, resilience, and divine protection? As we reflect on this ancient tale, let's ponder its relevance today. The Red Seas we face might not be literal waters, but challenges where the solutions are just as unfathomable. This story teaches us that with faith, what seems to be the end could be just the beginning of a new path, divinely set before us. In a world where power struggles and conflicts are commonplace, the story of David and King Saul stands out as a testament to the strength of moral conviction and the profound impact of mercy. David, a young shepherd who rose to fame by defeating Goliath, finds himself in a precarious position, beloved by the people and anointed by God. His very existence sparks jealousy in King Saul, leading to a deadly game of cat and mouse in the wilderness of Israel. Saul, consumed by envy and fear of losing his throne, relentlessly pursues David, intent on eliminating this threat. David, despite his innocence and loyalty to Saul, becomes a fugitive, his life a constant battle for survival against the king's wrath. In a twist of fate, David finds himself in a cave with a sleeping Saul at his mercy. His followers see this as a divine opportunity to end their plight, urging David to strike, but David, guided by a deeper sense of justice and reverence for God's anointed, chooses a different path. David spares Saul, a decision that speaks volumes about his character and his understanding of divine justice. This act of mercy, cutting off only a piece of Saul's robe as proof of his restraint, showcases a profound respect for God's will and the sanctity of his anointed ones. Consider a moment in your life when you had the upper hand over someone who wronged you. What did you choose, retribution or forgiveness, how does David's choice inspire us to reflect on our own decisions and their alignment with a higher moral and spiritual calling? The courage to show mercy, especially to those who have wronged us, remains one of the most challenging and noble paths. David's story is a powerful reminder that true strength lies not in overpowering others, but in our capacity for compassion, forgiveness, and adherence to moral principles. 
even in the face of personal risk.